Now doing question four, test three review. Convert the temperature reading of 88 Fahrenheit into Celsius. And then it gives you some choices. For these kind of problems, you need to know the conversion between Fahrenheit, Celsius, between Celsius, Kelvin, and so on, right? So the equation is one Fahrenheit is nine fifths Celsius plus 32. So the Fahrenheit degree is such that when you have a zero, zero degree Celsius, that's corresponding to how much Fahrenheit? 32 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? When you have 100 degrees Celsius, this is the freezing point of water, right? And then this is the boiling point. The boiling point would equal what? Well, uh, 9 fifths of 100, so what's that gonna be? 9 fifths, 100, plus 32. A lot of people who don't live in the United States or just come, uh, are newcomers, they don't, they're not aware, they don't know about the Fahrenheit system as well. So it's good to learn about this too. Uh, five goes into 120, 20 times uh, nine, 180, plus 32, 212, okay? So uh, 100 Celsius is, corresponds to 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's basically the Fahrenheit scale. So if I want to convert from Fahrenheit back to Celsius, what do I do? Well, I subtract 32 from both sides, F minus 32. And then I multiply both sides by 5 ninths, 5 ninths, and that's equal to the Celsius, right? What's the conversion between Kelvin and Celsius? Well, Kelvin is equal to Celsius plus 273.15. Sometimes we just write 273, sometimes we write 273.15. Uh, zero degree uh, Kelvin, zero Kelvin, corresponds to negative 273 Celsius. Negative 273.15 Celsius, and this is the coldest temperature that you can imagine. It's called absolute zero, okay? And uh, zero Kelvin, uh, let's see, 273.15 Kelvin corresponds to uh, zero degrees Celsius. So that's the freezing point of uh, <clears throat> uh, water. And boiling point of water would be 373, okay? So that would be 100 degrees Celsius. So 373 Kelvin, 100 Celsius, 273 Kelvin, uh, zero Celsius. A comfortable room temperature of roughly around 24, 25, 26, 27 Celsius would be equivalent to 300 Kelvin, right? 300 Kelvin. So this is something important for you to keep in mind. Uh, when we say 300 Kelvin, we are referring to comfortable room temperatures, okay? Okay, now let's get to this problem. If it's a 88 Fahrenheit, what would that be? Well. In this case, we're trying to convert uh, from Fahrenheit to Celsius, so we gotta use this version. We gotta put 88 here. C is equal to 5 ninths, 88 minus 32. 5 ninths, and then this one is gonna be uh, 6, 5. <coughs> 6 is uh, uh, 30, 3 carry over, 25, 28, 28 over 9, so 280 divided by nine, that's equal to 31.1 with a bar, Celsius. So 88 Fahrenheit, which is pretty warm weather, is 31 degrees Celsius, so what would that be? 31.1, okay? What's the comfortable uh, uh, human body temperature? What's the typical temperature? Well, it's good to know that too. In Celsius, it is 37 degrees, okay? 37 degrees Celsius, that's a human temperature. So uh, remember what we said was uh, room temperature was about 27 Celsius. So we're usually, our bodies were warm blooded, so we are tend to be warmer than our surroundings. So we're 37 Celsius. How many Fahrenheit would that be? Well, now we can convert back to Fahrenheit, okay? What would be the Fahrenheit of that? So the Fahrenheit would be 9 fifths of 37 plus 32. So 9 fifths of 37.
and you get 98.6. So human body temperature is 37 Celsius, corresponding to 98.6 Fahrenheit. So in this case, 88 Fahrenheit, which is colder than the human body temperature, that's equal to 31.1 degree Celsius. Okay, thank you.